This video will show you how to get GMMK keyboards to work with Signal RGB. Make sure you pay attention to everything in this video because this process can brick your device if you do it wrong. Signal RGB is not responsible if you brick your device. It's also worth noting, you will lose access to Bluetooth functionality if the device provides it. There's nothing we can do to fix this until GMMK adds support for Bluetooth in their QMK source. If you are using VIA or VIAL and you have existing mappings, then you should go back them up before flashing your device. You'll be able to restore all of your mappings after you flash your device. Connect the keyboard to your PC and make sure you have closed both Signal RGB and VIA. Now download QMK Toolbox. A link to this page will be provided in the video description. Right click on QMK Toolbox and run it as administrator. You should be prompted to install drivers. If you forgot to run QMK Toolbox as administrator, then you won't be able to install the drivers, so you'll need to restart as administrator. If you don't get prompted to install drivers, you can install them by going to Tools at the top of the window or press Ctrl plus N on your keyboard. In the video description, I've provided the link to a GitHub full of custom firmware files. You need to find and download the one that applies to your GMMK device. Now this next part is absolutely critical, so pay really close attention. Jingle jingle, pay attention. First, you need to know the layout of your keyboard when you're searching for the correct firmware. It's either going to be ANSI or ISO. Second, if you have a GMMK Pro, then you need to know if it's revision 1 or revision 2. Look at the serial number on the back of your keyboard. If it starts with SS, then it's revision 1. If you purchased your GMMK Pro in March 2024 and beyond, then it's likely revision 2. Now with those things in mind, let's go back to the GitHub page. You will search for your firmware in this folder labeled 0.24.8 but this version number could have been updated after this video was uploaded, so keep that in mind. Now select the folder based on your brand. In this case, it's G for GMMK, so click 0 through J. Now you can scroll until you find the firmware files associated with the name of your keyboard. In my case, it's the GMMK Pro Revision 1, and it's the ANSI layout, so that means I'll download this firmware file. Okay, so now you've got the correct firmware file. The final thing you need to figure out is how to put your keyboard into bootloader mode since it varies based on the model. I'll leave a link in the video description for a document that has instructions on a per keyboard basis. With QMK Toolbox open, perform the instructions to enter bootloader mode. For my GMMK Pro, it says to first unplug it, and before plugging it back in, hold the spacebar and B at the same time while plugging the cable back in. And then you should see yellow text that says DFU device connected. Now click Open in QMK Toolbox and select the firmware you downloaded. Then click the flash button and wait for the process to finish. You'll know it's done when it says flash complete in yellow text. You should be able to open Signal RGB and see that your keyboard is now detected. At this point, you can go back and import your saved mappings into VIA if applicable. You should also be aware that VIA and Signal RGB cannot be running at the same time. If you want to configure your mappings in VIA, then first close Signal RGB and vice versa. If you still need additional help, then join the Signal RGB plugin Discord server, which I'll link in the video description. This is the end of the tutorial, and I hope it helps. Thank <laughs> you.